Hello, I'm Will. I'm here with Mike. We're the Tabletop Donkeys. Hello. And welcome back to another issue of Warhammer 40,000 Conquest, where we look through the magazine and then we play the games from it as ever. If you want to skip straight ahead, there's a link in the timestamp below for you to do so if you wish. We've got issue 22 here. This comes with a pot of Astro Granite texture paint and a medium base brush, and we'll see how we use those very shortly. Inside, we've got some information about the Codex Astartes, the kind of bible for the Space Marines, I suppose, that tells them how to do everything, written by Rubute Gilliman himself. And then a little bit about some couple of different chapters here, so Ultramarines, Salamanders and the Iron Hands. Then we've got some Chronicles of Virulence, which are all about Death Guard campaigns, some stuff about the Great Crusade, which was the Emperor's attempt to reunite lost humanity across the galaxy. And then world, different types of worlds of the Imperium, death worlds, feral worlds, and so forth, and exterminators, which is all about blowing up planets. And then we here we have instructions for using the new Astro Granite Texture Paint, which is for the bases, and you can see here it goes on the bases, and it's a kind of a it has a clumpy texture to it that creates a 3D effect on the base. Looks a bit like gravel or rock or something similar, and it's applied with the new brush. And that's, sort of, that's for the Space Marines, and then how to apply it to the Death Guard. I've actually personally found it easier to apply texture paints, not with a brush, because it tends to clog up the brush a bit with little sort of sand particles and stuff. I prefer to use a sort of a flat-ended stick or something like that. And here we have a photograph of all of the models up until this point painted as they've told you to, with the bases done. If you want to see our collection, then you can see it at the end of episode 19, where we showed off all of our collection, which is obviously painted slightly differently to these. And then we have the two missions for this issue, starting here with this stuff. So we're going to go straight into those now. So here we are with our first mission for this issue, Supply Drop Down. So the Space Marines have managed to make a foothold on Corvon 2. Unfortunately their supply drop has been scattered all over the city, so they have to head into Death Guard territory to try and retrieve it. And that's what we're trying to do in our first mission. So this mission actually makes use of the old terrain back from the um, Chicago deck. So <laughs> if you've been missing it, you haven't had to wait long. So a bit like... Uh, the mission in issue 20, we're going to place the train ourselves. As you can see, there's some pre-placed here, the big cargo container and the drums and the cargo crates, and then we have to place the rest around them. Here you can see we each place a container, it must be six inches away from the must be six inches away from a, another container and at least three inches from a table edge. And then we roll off to see who chooses their deployment zone, so that's six inches either end. Oh, this takes place on the blank side of the board as well, so none of the new terrain will be on it. Also, so we roll off to see to choose the deployment zone, and then the player who wins sets up a u their unit first, and then we alternate deploying, and the player who does not choose a zone gets the first turn. And so for the victory conditions, each cargo container is worth two victory points. Uh, you also get a victory point for each enemy unit you destroy, and two victory points for each enemy character you kill. And the game lasts for five battle rounds. So we'll go, we'll do an army overview in a bit, but there's a little bit here. Just decide about setting up your own battlefield on the new rules, on the new board. Uh, it's pretty similar, basically the same as the last setting up terrain on the cargo deck. Also a bit here about how if you want to use the old terrain on the new, on the print, so with the printed terrain, you can just put the cargo containers over other terrain and it cancels that out. So we'll go into the army overviews and get straight into the game. And here's our Space Marine army for the first mission for this issue. We've got Lieutenant Calcius leading five Reavers, five Intercessors, the three Aggressors and the two Hellblasters there at the back. So here's the Death Guard army for our first mission from this issue. Here in the front we've got Lord Feltheus, and then there's the 12 Poxwalkers, the Tainted Cohort and three Plague Marines bringing up the rear. So here we are, here's our pre-placed container and ammo crates. So we each get a set of a container, four small ammo boxes and three drums each. And we have to set them up. So we, the big container has to be at least three inches away from a board edge and at least six inches away from another container. And the tutorial also suggests placing them at least 12 inches apart just to make the game less cramped. And we're gonna roll off to see who gets to deploy theirs first. 
You want a five? Mm, also a five. Mm. <laughs> right. There you go. Okay. So you get to. So William gets to deploy his first. We'll come back when he's done that. So there we are. He's deployed his container over here in the well, top right corner from my perspective. And the fuel drums down here and the, ooh, the ammo crates over there. So here we are. I've deployed my container over here on my far left. The, the fuel drums next to it. And I've deployed the uh, my set of ammo crates next to the cargo container that William put down. So now we're going to roll off to see who gets to pick deployment zones. And uh, deployment zones are six inches off each short board edge. So rolling off to see who picks deployment zones. Yeah, I do. So you get to pick, which means you also deploy first, and I get to go first. Okay. So William has picked this deployment zone. And then I get to do a deployment choice first, and I'm going to take Lord Thelthius and put him in the teleportarium. Yep. So he gets to deploy later. So here I've deployed the Hell Blasters, hopefully to move up and take advantage of those ammo crates. And my second choice will be the Tainted Cohort, and they're also going to go in the teleportarium to arrive later. And for my second deployment, I've deployed the intercessors behind this cargo container. And my third choice is these plague marines hiding very bravely behind the cargo container. And for my third choice, I've deployed the reavers just over here next to the hell blasters. And then my final deployment choice, these poxwalkers have gone down also mostly behind the box. And so for my finished deployment, I've deployed the aggressors next to the reavers and Calcius just behind everyone, hopefully to give his six inch aura a real wounds. But uh, I get to go first since I didn't get to pick deployment zones. So we'll head into Space Marines turn one. And some of the intercessors are just going to climb up onto this box. And the two will just move around to here. Two hell blasters are just going to move up behind these ammo crates. So the Reavers are going to advance, one, better than nothing, seven inches, come this way. So the Aggressors are also going to advance, well nippy this time, they can move eleven. And then Lieutenant Calcius will also advance, three inches. So we're on to the shooting phase, first the Intercessors are going to fire all the way over to, over to those Poxforkers, making use of their 30 inch range. So we have one, two, and three bolt rifles and then these two on the box from the storm bolters instead. So just checked and uh, this guy right on the end the poxwalkers will actually get cover from so I do him separately but the others I can all do the same because they're all strength four and AP doesn't matter because poxwalkers don't have any armor save. Five shots here on threes, three hits, wound on threes you're rolling ones, three wounds. Disgustingly resilient. Um, Made all Okay. Blimey. <laughs> well, at least I didn't do that for Lord Felsius. Yeah. And I'll repeat that. And then we've got two other shots from the other Stormbolter. Both missed. Off to a good start. And then this one Hell Blast on the end. Can see the the Poxwoggers, so he'll have one shot. Hitting on a three, we're only ones. Not going to overcharge. At least he can re roll that one. He hit. Wounded on a two. Re rolling ones. He wounded. But I get my resilience save. No. So he did take someone out. One from the back. So that's going to be it for Space Marines turn one. Fighty far away to charge. On to Death Guard turn one. First of all, Plague Marines are going to move their five inches around this box. And that gets them next to the ammo crate, which will let them reroll ones to hit. Yeah, it'll be like that. And the Pox Walkers are going to move up their four inches. I'm not going to advance because I don't want to get too close to those flamers. Um, and actually, if I don't advance, I can make a charge. It'll be out of flame range, so no overwatch. It'll be a long charge, but playing the long game anyway, in terms of uh, taking objectives. So there's no no rush. Then at the end of my movement phase, we've brought down Lord Felthius and the Tainted Cohort from their teleport strike, which, well, I suppose if they'd started over here on the board, they would be about there anyway, but I can't get any closer, and I don't expect Michael's going to give me any space, so I'll bring them down straight away. So, on to the shooting phase. Yes, we'll start with the Plague Marines over here. They're going to shoot at the Hell Blasters. Okay. Within 18 inches for rapid fire, we'll start with the Champion's Plasma Gun. He's going to supercharge, so hitting on three, three rolling ones. One hit. Wounding on two. Yep, and you get five plus because you're behind cover. Five plus armor save. Nope. So, one of the Hell Blasters goes down. We'll do the one Blight Launcher next. It hits on threes. Two 
hits, it moves on three, three rolling ones, two wounds, uh, four plus cover. Made one of them. D3 damage, two. So and the other hell blaster goes down, and you get a victory point for destroying a unit. I do indeed. And the bolt gun is wasted, but that doesn't matter very much. The only shooting we've got left is the two combi bolters on these tainted cohort terminators. The plague spewer is not in range because it has a nine inch range, and the definition of the rules have to deploy more than nine inches away. So, so they are going to shoot at the intercessors, and they're just within eighteen inches, I think. Yep. So that's eight shots hitting on threes, six hits, moving on fours, uh, th- two. Two, three plus armor saves. Yep, yeah, unless you want to take cover from the barrels. Nah. Made one, failed one, so it takes a wound. So that's shooting over onto the charge phase. We'll start with Lord Felsius. Okay. He's to declare a charge on the aggressors. Yep. They're out of flame range, so I just get to roll my charge Please distance. Roll nine. That's an eight. Ooh, Not quite. It's lucky. Tainted cohort will try the same thing. Okay. Nope. They got a seven. seven. And. Are the Poxwalkers going to have a go? Yeah, they might as well. Okay, he needs a 10. Pop 10 for the Poxwalkers. No, no, that's an 8. So no charges go off. And that's the end of Death Guard turn 1. Yeah, so Hellblaster's down. Let's see if we can get some revenge in Space Marine turn 2. So after I move, the Intercessors are going to hold position. Meanwhile, all my forces in the middle have moved up around this container, so the Aggressors, and I was in flame range of the Poxwalkers, and hopefully in charge range of them. Reeve Cassius has moved up behind them, and then the Reavers have come in to back him up. So hopefully we're going to try and deal with all these Terminators that have arrived. So shooting, the Aggressors are going to fire their Flamers at the Poxwalkers, and they're all in range. So we've got six, uh, 66 shots. Oh, big roll. 24 hits. I'll do two batches of 12. So wounded on threes, you're rolling ones. Where you roll these three? Eight wounds so far. It's got to be resilient. Made four, so if only four down so far. Remaining twelve. Got a lot of ones. And that's eleven wounds. To make at least eight of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that is exactly enough to get rid of all of them. So that's eleven total dead poxwalkers. And I gain a victory point for destroying a unit. Indeed. So, more shooting. Unfortunately, none of the Reavers or, none of the Reavers or Cassius are in range to throw grenades. We've got, I'll do Cassius first. He's got his bolt pistol firing at the Tainted Cohort. One shot hitting on a three, re-rolling ones. He hit. Wounded on a five, re-rolling ones. Didn't wound. And then five bolt pistol shots from the Reavers. He hit the on threes, re-rolling ones. They all hit. Let's see if they can all wound. <laughs> Four wounds. So three plus armor saves. Yeah, because they're heavy bolt pistols. On, let's get some through. Failed one, and so this disgustingly resilient. Nope. So, so tainted what? cohort takes a wound. So I'm going to put it on the sword man because I want to make sure this yes. weapon survives for Overwatch. And then the intercessors are also going to shoot at the tainted cohort. Yeah, the two that can fire storm bolters will fire storm bolters, and the other three will fire their bolt rifles. So we have. It. Three bolt rifle shots hitting on threes, two hits, wounded on fives, one wound, three plus arm save, yeah. And then four storm bolter shots hitting on threes, wounded on fives, no. So in the charge phase, first the Reavers are going to declare a charge against Tainted Cohort and Lord Felthius, because Felthius doesn't have a any kind of range weapon, so there will be some overwatch though. Yes, well, we'll start with the um, this thing. Plague, Plague Spear. Spear. Plague Spear, whatever it is. Yep, so it has d6 automatic hits. Four. Mm. Strength five, so wounding on threes, you're rolling ones. Uh, two wounds, you're rolling ones. No, nope, only two wounds, minus one AP. Two, four plus armor saves. It's only damage one, isn't yes, it? Yes, it's only damage one. I made an armor save, and Reaver takes a wound. So I'll put it on the man at the back. And then eight combi auto shots hitting on sixes. Um, one hit. Wounds on four, it does. Three plus Three plus. No. no. So no. Reaver goes down. And their charge distance, eight inches. That's definitely going to be enough. Yeah, the Reavers have completed their charge. Then the aggressors are also going to declare a charge against both units. Mm-hmm. But no overwatch because the Tentacle Cohort are engaged. They got a five. The aggressors have 
charge like that, and then Calcius will also declare a charge against both units. He'll get in with a seven, I think. Yeah, so he'll get in like that. I'll have to do some careful manoeuvring. Lord Felthius is going to heroically intervene. Yep, so he does actually get to move, so he'll just move a bit like that, so he can get within an inch of Calcius. Okay, so I get to pick who fights first, so the Reavers are going to go first, so we get to pile in. They're all fairly closer, closer to the Flamer Man. 13 attacks, hitting on threes. Ooh, not bad. That's 12 hits. Wound you on fives, you're rolling ones. That's less good. That's an awful lot of twos. Rerolling the two ones. That's only two wounds so far. Two plus arm save. And failed one. Ooh, disgustingly resilient. Yes, I've made oh, it. That's important Keeps my make. sword alive. Yeah. So next, I'm going to pick Calcius to fight. And he's going to pile in. So after some finagling of manoeuvring of rotating models, uh, Calcius can't quite get uh, get outside of an inch of Felthius, so Felthius can attack him. But Calcius has four attacks hitting on twos. Who's he attacking? He's attacking the taint, he's attacking the tainted cover. Okay. So he's got three hits. Only on fives, you're rolling ones. No wounds. And then the aggressors get to go. And we're gonna pile in around Felthius. So we have seven attacks hitting on fours. Three hits. Wounded on threes, you're rolling ones. On. Um, they all wound. He's got a four plus invulnerable save, which he's made all of. So, not a very effective turn there from the Space Marines. Death Guard get to fight back. We'll, it doesn't really matter what order I do. And we'll start with Felthius. He's going to attack the aggressors. Yep. He's got four attacks hitting on twos. Mm -hmm. One miss. Wow. Uh, but Death to the False yep. Emperor with that six gets me another hit. Wounding on threes, we're rolling ones. Two wounds, two ones. Uh, three wounds, six plus save. Yep. Didn't make any of them, so they D3 damage. Yeah, so first one, two damage. So first aggressor goes down. Second one, three damage. Yeah, other aggressor goes down. And Sarge lives. Oh, he's still alive, just on one wound. And then the Tainted Cobalt. They'll attack the Reavers, I think. Okay. We'll start with the Power Sword. Two attacks mm -hmm. hitting on threes, two hits, wounding on fours, two wounds, and those are AP minus four because I rolled yep. six to wound. So that's just two wounds. Yeah. So a Reaver goes down. The axe, two attacks, uh, both missed. Phew. Guy with the plague spewer has two attacks but no melee weapon. So one hit and it wounds on four. It does, but no armor save. Three, three plus armor save. Yeah. No AP, you mean? Yeah, that's what I meant. So that's it from. Uh, at the end of Space Marines turn two, on to Death Guard turn two. Only movement, Plague Marines have shifted up, uh, they're mm -hmm. still within two inches of that ammo crate. They're going to shoot, they're the only shooting I've got as well. They'll shoot the inter uh, Intercessors, only people yeah. not in combat. Start with the Champions Plasma Gun, hitting on three, three rolling ones, uh, supercharging. That's a one again. Not another one, that's another oh, one. Well, he still he blew himself up. He does least. blow himself up. Oh, and I've made a mistake as well, because you've got a Garner wound. Yeah, so six yes, wounds. Six plus six arm plus save. Arm save. No, no. So, I, so the wounded man goes down, but the champion also goes down. Yeah, so he blew himself up. Uh, the blight launcher, two attacks in, or two shots rather, one hit, wounding on a three, it does. Five plus arm save. Nope, not going to make any arm saves this game. Uh, only one damage though. <laughs> so an intercessor takes a wound. And bolt gun, one hit. No wound. No shooting from and these you've, guys. You've got him, his aura thingy that you forgot. Oh yeah, I did. Yes, yeah, so sorry, yes, at the start of the start of my turn, his aura goes off, and so all of these three units will take mortal wounds on a four plus. So, into aggressor sergeant, nope, he's alright. Sure. Calcius, yep. He takes a wound. Calcius goes down to four. And the Reavers, they take a wound. Now we're on to the fight phase. We'll start with the tainted cohort. This guy's just gonna pile in that way. And they're all gonna attack the. Um, Reavers again. Mm -hmm. So we'll start with the sword again. Two attacks, one hit, wounding on four. Yes, through a six plus save. Nope, Re wounded Reaver goes down. The axe, two hits, wounding on threes, uh, re rolling ones because it's a plague weapon. Two wounds, one of which is AP minus three, one is AP minus two. Uh, so one six plus armor save. Oh, oh, I made that one. One five plus armor save. Didn't make that one. So the other regular Reaver takes a wound. And then normal man, two attacks, two hits, wounding on fours. 
One wound, normal armor save. Three plus armor save, mate. Yeah. So I get to pick next, and uh, the aggressor sergeant. So he's got three attacks sitting on fours. Yep. Right, we'll go with Celsius next. He'll attack Calcius, who's yeah. still within an inch. Mm -hmm. uh, four attacks sitting on twos. Uh, three hit, four hits rather. Wounding on threes, we're on ones. Uh, three wounds. Six plus. Made well, two. Made one. Oh, yeah. made, so that might be one. important. So 2d3 damage. Ah, only two. Oh, he's still alive, down to two wounds. So I'll do Calcius next. Uh, he'll attack the Tainted Cohort. Four attacks, hitting on twos. Two hits. Only on fives, you're rolling ones. Nope. And then the two Reavers will attack the Tainted Cohort. They have seven attacks, hitting on threes. Five hits. Only on fives, you're rolling ones. One wound. Two plus armor save. Yes. That's the end of Death Guard turn two. On to Space Marines. Turn three. Any movement for my turn. The Intercessor Sergeant climbed onto the box and then this Intercessor will move around so you can see the Plague Marines. And straight onto the shooting phase. So no one's in rapid fire range, so we're just gonna go with our bolt rifles. Four shots hitting on threes. Three hits. Wounded on fives. No wounds. Two Reavers are going to fire their heavy bolt pistols at the Tainted Cohort. Hitting on threes, two hits. When you're on fives, you're running ones. One wound. My, uh, minus one AP. Yeah, I'll oh. save the armor save. And disgustingly resilient. Yes, no, made it. Not going to kill any Terminators. And Chaosis will also shoot and he hit. He didn't wound. So straight onto the fight phase. The aggressor sergeant's going to have another go at Felthius. Maybe we'll actually hit him. Oh, he hit twice. Wow. Wound you on threes. Yeah. Two wounds. Two four plus invulnerable saves. Made one. Wow, might actually wound him. Three damage. Three damage. Disgustingly resilient. Made one, so he takes two. Wow. So he goes down to four. Now you get to pick your advance next. Well, I'll go with the cohort. Tainted cohort before they die. I think we're going to attack Calcius. So he will pile in slightly. Yeah. They, they can all attack him. So we'll start with the axe man. Uh, he's missed twice. Mm. The sword man. That's, that's cocked. cocked. Uh, only one hit, wounding on four. It doesn't. Blimey. And the man with the fist, he hits once. And f does wound. Three plus arm save. Yeah. Made it. Oh, so they did nothing. So Calcius, he'll attack Felthius because he might actually live then. So he's got four attacks hitting on twos. No. Three hits. Really on fives, you're running ones. Oh, two wounds. Two wounds. Four plus an invulnerable save. Made one again. Yeah. So he takes another wound. If I don't, if I fail this, which I do. Oh, down to three. Felthius will split his attacks. Two on the aggressor sergeant, two on Calcius. Mm -hmm. So two on the sergeant. Uh, one hit. Uh, Rerolling ones to wound. No. Oh, blood. Charm life. And the two on Calcius. Oh my uh, god! No, two hits. <laughs> uh, wounding on. Threes, yeah, so two wounds on Calcius. Uh, six plus armor saves. No, he's dead. Because that's 2d3 damage. Calcius goes down, and then the Reavers get to fight the Tainted Cohort. So Reavers have seven attacks, hitting on threes, four hits, and then wounding on fives. Two wounds. Two plus save. Failed one. Whoa. Disgustingly resilient. Made it. No, it's still not going to come any Terminators. End of Space Marines turn three. On to Death Guard, turn three. So first off, you've got your aura of... Aura of mortal wounds, yes. So the aggressor sergeant, he takes a wound. Yeah, and he dies. Sarge dies. And then the Reavers, they do not. They rolled a two. So I rolled a two, yeah, they didn't. So they're okay. And in my movement phase, so that guy will move there. That guy will move there. So they're in coherency, but they're in range of both containers. Only three inches of them, so they... And Lord Felsius is free from combat now. So he's going to move his four inches this way. Well, actually, yeah, if he goes in here, then he gets himself within three inches. That great as well. Shooting at the intercessors. Yep. Uh, we'll start with the bolt gun. Mm -hmm. Two hits, wounding on fours. Uh, no. Light launcher. Two hits. One wound, rerolling ones. Still one wound. That's all. No, nope. so, so one of the intercessors goes down. No more shooting. So on to the fight phase. Well, no, charge, charge phase. Right. I suppose Lord Felthius might as well. All right then. Make a charge. Yeah, he's in. He's in. He's gonna put himself there. So he gets to point first. Four attacks hitting on twos. Three hits. 
wounding on threes, rerolling ones. Three wounds. Six plus armor saves. No. So Reavers go down. Felthius will consolidate three inches towards the intercessors. Well, no, well, getting close to the intercessors, but also in range of the box. Um, and that's it for my turn. Yep, on to Space Marines turn four. So this intercessor is just going to move up onto here. And then we're all going to shoot at the Plague Marines. Three shots hitting on threes. We're going to be on uh, three hits, we're going to be on fives, one wound. Four plus arm save. Nope. Disgustingly resilient. Nope. You take out the bot gunner. And uh, to be honest, at that point, I'm just going to concede. Yeah, it makes sense. Because I get two, I get two victory points for this, and two victory yeah, points for this, and, and three, three for destroying units. And two for Calcius. And two for Calcius. So it's, it's. So we'll head into mission two with a death card victory. Um, obviously, we'll recap right at the end. So here we are in our second mission, secure those supplies. The Death Guard are going to try and secure those supplies they managed to capture. So as you can see here, the Defender, or the Death Guard, have a 12 inch deployment zone in the middle of the board, while the Attacker, or the Space Marines, have a 3 inch deployment zone either side. And here as well, the Defender also gets to set up all the containers and Prometheus drums within their deployment zone before the beginning of the game. So you can place it over any of this pre-printed terrain, but it just overrides it. And then the defenders deploy their entire force first, then the attackers deploy their force, and the defender gets to go first. Uh, the defender gets a victory point for every unit that is still in play at the end of the game, while the attacker gets a victory point for every unit that ends in the defender's deployment zone, and the game lasts for five rounds. So we're going to the army overviews and then straight into the mission. And here's our Death Guard army for the second mission. So we have the Foul Blight spawn, the Biologus Putrefier, the 12 Pops Walkers, and now five Plague Marines instead of three. And uh, Space Marine army for the second mission for this issue. It's basically the same as last time, but without the Reavers. So we've got Lieutenant Calcius, three Aggressors, two Hell Blasters, and five Intercessors. All the train has been deployed. William only decided to cover up this tank trap with his containers, so there's going to be a lot of cover for the Death Guard down here in the middle. As a defender, the Death Guard get have to deploy their units first. So, oh, I've put Plague Marines in the middle, where they can react to basically any threat, and the same with the Foul Blight spawn. The Biologus Putrefy just need to stay close to the Plague Marines, really, and then we've got all the Pox Walkers over here. I get to the yeah, so I have to deploy all my units now. For my deployment in the top left corner here, I've deployed Lieutenant Calcis, the Intercessors and the Hell Blasters, and all the way over here in the top right corner, the Aggressors. I need to try and be as far away from these guys as possible. And with deployment over, we'll head into Death Guard, turn one. The uh, Poxwalkers have moved up a little bit, and they're, they're all more than eight inches away from the uh, Aggressors, so it's an eight inch charge, but we won't be only Overwatch. Mm. Plague Marines have moved around here, sort of around that ruin, so they can see some stuff. Yep. And then the uh, Biologus Putrefy is just hiding here. And finally, the Foul Blight Spawn is going to advance three extra inches. Should be enough. Yeah, so he's in range. Yes, we'll go on to the shooting phase. He will shoot at the intercessors who are in range. Yep. So strength of the attack will be seven. Be on threes. Uh, four hits. Three three rolling ones. That's a one. So three wounds. Three six plus armor saves. Made one. one. So two go down. Uh, I think the plague marines will fire at them as well. The intercessors. Yeah, see so if I can get rid of them. Um, so everyone's within 18. Mm -hmm. So we'll start with the champion's plasma gun. We're going to supercharge. We've got one hit. Wounds on two. It does. Six plus armor save. Nope. Another intercessor gets down. Four shots from the blight launchers. Uh, uh, Rerolling ones because of the ammo crate. So three hits. Wounds on three. Three rolling ones. That's three wounds. Five plus armor saves. Made one. D3 damage on the first. Only one. So that will kill, kill him. So the intercessor goes down. And then finally, bolt guns. So we've got two hits, three on one for the ammo. So four hits, we've got fours. No, no wounds. So just Sarge left. On to the charge phase. The Poxwalk is the only one who's in range. They're going to charge you. So they'll charge them. It's an eight inch charge, but they're out of flame range. Mm -hmm. It's just over eight inches away. That's a ten. And they've made their charge like so. Onto the fight phase, they'll pile in. So this guy will come around the corner, basically making it so that they can't fall back. 
They're going to attack, so they have 12 of them, so they've got 24 attacks. Hitting on fours. Yep. So two batches of 12. First one's hitting on fours. That's six hits so six far. Six hits so far. Wounds on fives. So that's two wounds so far. Two, three plus on saves. Make both of them. And then the other lot, um, exactly the same. So another six hits. Wounds on fives. Another two. Perfectly average from the top all the way through. Three plus armor saves. Make uh, both of them. I get to hit back. Seven attacks hitting on fours. Two hits. Wounding on twos. Two wounds. First one does one damage. Which I haven't ignored. One goes down. Oh, no. Second one does one damage. No. No, actually he wasn't able to attack, but I didn't do anything anyway, so it doesn't matter. So yeah. that was a mistake, but anyway. So that's two down. And then at the end of the turn, Sarge of the Intercessors has to make a morale test. Which he passed. He passed, so at five plus four casualties is nine, but he's leadership nine. So he passed. So that's Death Guard turn one. On to Space Marines turn one. So for my movement, the aggressors are stuck in combat. And then the Intercessor Sergeant has moved up. And the Hellblast has moved up a little bit, so we've got some cover. And Cassius is going to try a long bomb charge on him. Because there's no other way I'm going to get rid of him. So, shooting phase. Sarge will... Uh, I think he's within six inches. Yeah. He'll throw a crack grenade at you. Hit you on a three. Missed. And then the Hell Blasters. We're going to try overcharging. We're going to risk it. The first one gets a hit. And the second one also gets a hit. No, another one blow up. Wounding on threes. Rerolling ones. Two wounds. They are safe. So it's four damage. A warm hit one. So he does live. Down to one wound. And Chaosis will fire his bolt pistol. It hit. Wounded on a five, you're running ones. It wounded. wounded. I'm a save. Phew. And then Cassius will declare a charge on him. No overwatch. No. <sighs> Not with that. And then in the fight phase, the aggressors get to fight. So they got seven attacks. Seven attacks hitting on fours. It's not better. Four hits. Yep, wounded on twos. Wounded. wounded. So the first one does three damage. Uh, well, no, I ignored it, doesn't matter. Not Second one does two damage. Yep, one dead. Third one does two damage. Ignore that one. Last one does one damage. Nope, so three more Poxwalkers. Right to the dust. And they get to hit back. Only seven of them left, so only 14 attacks. Hitting on fives now. Mm, five hits, I think. No, six mm. hits. We on fives. Only two. Two plus arm saves, made one. A regular aggressor will take a wound. And that's the end of Space Marines turn one. On to Death Guard turn two. The uh, Foul Blight spawn is going to move up. Right, we're just going to have to advance then. Well, he advances one inch, but that's enough to get in closer to Chaos. So. And the Plague Marines. Right, that's my movement done. Mm -hmm. on Shooting the... phase, we will start with. Barlog's Putrefy, he's going to throw a Hyper Blight Grenade at the Sergeant, so D6 shots, five, threes, threes we're rolling ones, okay. three hits, three hits wounding on f fours, two wounds, no mortal wounds, no AP, no AP but two damage, and he's got cover, yeah, so, so two, two plus arm saves, yeah, he made both of them, the or do the foul blight spawn next, he's gonna shoot at Lieutenant Cassius. So yeah. the strength of his gun is eight. Number of shots, six. Wounding on twos, re-rolling ones. They're all wounded, so you've got to make quite a lot of sixes. No. No. So Cassius goes down. And then the Plague Marines, this bolt gunner will throw a hyper blight grenade at the intercessor sergeant. Everyone else will shoot the hell blasters. Yep. So we'll do the bite grenade first. Four shots. Threes, re-rolling ones. And two hits. Wounding on fours, that's a mortal wound, and that's an arm save at two plus. Yes, so he takes one wound. Sarge down to one wound. Champion. Uh, shooting at the Hell Blasters. Yeah, he's not going to overcharge, so we'll do the Blight, well, we'll do the blight Launchers first. So they've got three hits, three one ones, still, still, still only two hits. So, sorry, yeah, two hits. Wounding on threes, that's two wounds. Four plus armor saves, made one. D3 damage. Two, so that kills one. Hell Blaster goes down. Champion's plasma gun. 
Now we're not going to overcharge. So two hits or anything on threes. No, should have overcharged. Uh, two wounds. Five plus. No, dies. Blasters go down. On to the... Oh, I can actually... No, charge phase. We might as well charge with the Plague Marines at Sarge. Oh, uh, hello, Rock, for this bolt rifle. Didn't hit. Uh, charge range six. Well, it's enough to get in here, basically. So, And the future farm miles will have a go. Because you something ridiculous. No, five isn't enough. Because you have to get up and over this pipe. Uh, they get to go first. So we'll pile in. Um, it's only going to be champion and this guy get to attack. So we'll do the champion first. Two attacks hitting on fours. One hit. Doesn't wound. Mm. Nor guy with a knife. Hits, but that's death of the false emperor on six. So two hits. Uh, Rerolling ones to wound. No, can't damage him. Technically, Spock Talk is next, but we'll just do the side now. He got one hit. I didn't wound. And now the Fox Walkers, so there's seven of them. Yep, so seven left. 14 attacks here on five. Mm, they're doing okay this game. Well, I haven't actually done any wounds. Oh, well, four wounds. Four, three plus half saves. Third oh. one, so you get a Fox Walk back. He has to be more than an inch away, so you can. Five attacks back. Three hits. Only on twos, three wounds. Three damage. First one, one damage. No, nope. dead. Second one, two damage. Another dead. Last one, three damage. Dead. I'll take him, I'll take my brand new one. There's only five left, but they've done their job. Yeah, that's the end of Death Guard, turn two. I'm just going to concede. No, nope, don't think I'm going to win with just three Marines yet left. So we'll recap both the missions of this week. So those were the missions for issue 22 of Warhammer 40,000 Conquest. Well, before I ask you how you think those went, I'm going to say they went terribly for me. Um, the first game, my melee was completely ineffectual. Um, I think it was my turn to roll incredibly badly in a game, like that one game you had ages ago. And uh, the second game, I think, is very heavily weighted in favour of the defender. I think even if, if the space were defending, it still probably would have gone a similar way, just for because the, they get to go first. But uh, what did you think? Well, I'm not sure I can disagree with that. Yeah, I mean, that one charge you attempted to make in the first game pretty much decided the game, yeah, didn't it? Yeah. You just, they just bounced off the Terminators, and Terminators are pretty tough at the best of times, but if you don't roll well, it doesn't help, mm. <laughs> to put it bluntly. And then, yeah, in the second game, I think they assumed that the Space Marines were going to win the first game somehow, yeah. or kind of structured the game a bit, because yeah, they, if the Space Marines had been defending that middle board in the second game, then I think I would have had a hard time getting, getting them out of there. Well, I think... It's just that the defenders' performance zone is really quite large, and um, the fact that the defenders get to go first and the attackers have no cover, pretty much. So yeah. you just get a free turn of shooting. Yeah, well, exactly, and um, I only needed to roll something like a two on my advanced roll to get that blight spawn into charge range. Yeah, and I mean, it'd be so, the same with the aggre- it'd probably be the same with the aggressors. I mean, um, shooting range, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, yes, exactly. If you had the aggressors, if you were defending and you had the aggressors, then, well, I would have put my poxwalkers as far away as possible, but you probably still would have. I mean, I probably would have just deployed them in the middle. I mean, I suppose if you're the attacker, you could try and put one unit in each corner, but then you'd just be splitting up your force too much, I think. Yeah, it would it would be tricky, because then I could just pick them off at one at once. I must say, I did get lucky and roll a 10 for my charge mm. with my poxwalkers and was able to trap the aggressors in the corner. They, they're they not the best at killing poxwalkers in melee, because they don't have enough Tax. attacks. Um, they don't hit off enough. No, so... I rolled that one charge well, and then it mattered less what I rolled for the rest of every, all the rest yeah, of my I mean, units. Just I mean, tied them up for the rest of the game. Exactly, and the other guys rolled okay, but it didn't matter because I got to go first. It's kind <laughs> of irrelevant mean, how I arranged the terrain, and if anything, it just got in my way. Yeah, I'd I mean, be better off putting it at the edges yeah. and then giving myself a good fire lane as possible. Um, Lord Felthy has proved how much of a beast he is in melee again. Yeah, when he makes all his invulnerable saves and his things. Yeah, that's it's just that's just the problem with facing yeah. Death Guard. Yeah. Unfortunately. Well, he failed some saves later, but unfortunately that was after he killed most of your aggressors. Mm. So you did do some damage to him. It was just a bit late by that point, unfortunately. Because as it was, you know, if you'd killed a couple of them and been a bit luckier with your attack rolls, then if you if I hadn't had many Terminators left, you might have been able to hold them up long enough to yeah. stop me, really, to stop them having an impact on the game besides killing stuff. And uh, well, in hindsight, knowing that my melee would be so ineffective, it would have been better to go around the other side of the box. Yeah. And then and they would have been run away from relevant. Them. Being able to bring them down on the first turn, well, I, I decided to bring them down on the first turn because um, I didn't want you to come too far up the board because you would probably have ensured that I had very little space to deploy them in and with their yeah. really slow move, I knew I needed to get them into the action, otherwise they'd be stuck right at the back of the board. 
something like that. And you definitely be, have to be careful when, you, when where you teleport them in, seeing as they are so slow. Yeah. And that will actually be a, a problem on board this site. So I suppose one tactic possibly for the Space Marines is to try and uh, leave a corner far away, try and sort of hog the middle of the board. Yeah, and then if they fail their charge, you can just run away from yeah. them, and you're faster than them, so... I mean, if you, you can still deploy on your first turn, so I mean... Yes, I can, yeah, I mean, if, yes, it was just mentioned, actually, of course, this not being match play, I'm perfectly entitled to deploy on my first turn. So I don't think there's too much more to be said. If you like this content, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and leave any comments as what you would have done differently from us. We've been the Tabletop Donkeys, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.